Hey everybody. Well, I'm excited. Uh, my goose gear system has arrived, so we're going to be installing that today. Picked it up yesterday from uh, Goose Gear down in Huntington Beach. Only took about just under four weeks. So I'd already removed the bottom of my seats and had been using this, which I liked a lot, but the Goose Gear is going to give me another, another three inches of room there. Plus, I like the strap points on there. So we'll see, we'll see how easy this install is. So let's start with the unboxing. Certainly package this up nicely. So this is the full 100% rear seat delete for a third generation Tacoma maintaining the factory back panels. So there it is. This must be uh, the front brace. Must be for this one. Got the anchor kits. Go with the straps. I like how they package this all up. They each come with a sticker as well. It's very nice. So. Looks simple enough, right? We should be able to get this done in just a few minutes. First, we've got to finish taking out the back seats. So as I looked online, not a lot of great directions on how to take this, uh, how to put this in while keeping the back panel. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can figure this out, but first let's clear out all this stuff. I found several install videos for Tacomas but not one that showed keeping the rear factory back panels. Okay, it looks like bolts for the rear seat are 12 millimeter, the seat belts are 14. Let's see if we can't get this out. Aha, second bolt back there. A little harder to get to. Well, I'm beginning to think that maybe you have to take this rear plastic piece off to get those bolts out, which is a bummer. This looks like a 10 millimeter to take these back panels off. I was hoping I didn't have to do that, but looks like I am. Hopefully I don't have to take that other side off, but let's see. If all went right, this should just lift out. Nice. Now let's get that side disconnected. Okay, it looks like there's two bolts on this side. First one's pretty easy to get to. Second one, there's one, Let's see if we can get the second one. All right, there's the second one, we got to get the seat belt brackets out. Wow, you can see all the way to the ground when that's out of there. Hmm. I have to fill that up with something. All right. That one doesn't go to the ground. Right, let's put that back in. Whoa. I don't know if these come apart. Maybe not. Rear seats are out. That wasn't too bad. Now we gotta get this thing out of here. Now on the video I did see, show these just popped out real easy.
That wasn't too bad at all. Awesome. This is actually insulated better than I better than I thought. Just gotta fill that hole in and get that back there. Maybe do some vacuuming. This will be the cleanest this ever is. Let's see if we can get this back in. You usually never go in as easy as they came out. That actually wasn't too bad. Wow. That's that's easy. Okay, so this is mostly assembled. Just got to put on a couple of pieces here. This is to connect the two. The 40% delete with the 60. Obviously, you wouldn't do this if you were just doing the 40 or the 60. Kind of make these snug but not tight. Make sure it all fits together before you tighten it up. The next step is this front panel. Okay, see if I can give you guys a view of this. These little channel nuts supposed to slide right in here. Okay. It's supposed to. There we go. Get this next one in. There we go, and the last one, there we go, I tighten it up. All right, let's go set this in there and see how it looks. I apologize for the angle of the sun in this shot. Looks good. You just got to uncover these holes here. Let's do that. All right, that looks like that should work. Okay, it looks like there's two bolts here. The two, uh, what are I doing them? Two long ones. Go here with a washer. Another long one here. Those were where the seats went in, so the same holes. And then uh, this small one with a nut is gonna go right there. Finger tighten all this stuff. Forgot it looks like a bolt also goes right through here with a nut. There we go. These are all Allen wrenches. Probably so you avoid uh, using a power tool. I'm not going to tighten these all the way down until I get the other one in there and make sure everything fits. So let's set up the 60%. Uh, I love how robust and solid this is. This is good craftsmanship. Wow, that went a lot smoother. But I don't know exactly where I should put this. No markings. Maybe all the way to the end. I think so. Let's start it there and see. All right, that looks good. I just got to remove this for my netting. They're too low and cut the carpet. And I think we'll be in business. I'm really liking this. All right, that looks good. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this bolt to hook this cargo net down instead of what I had before. Let's see if this works. There we go. All right, 
right, that looks good. Try these. That fits well. All right, let's get those bolts. These are in the bag, Mark 2829 for mending plate. Mending plate. Let's see if they line up. Oh, that one did. Is it possible we'll get all of them? There it is. I'll tighten down and in place. This looks awesome. Let's put the covers back on. Look good. Let's get that side. Wow, that is tough. Clean, looks good. It's extremely expensive, but man, I love it. I think it's worth it. I'm very impressed with the quality of the Goose Gear stuff. This is, this is phenomenal. Directions, not so much, but even without any directions, it's really pretty intuitive and easy to put together. Just to Allen wrench and uh, a couple of wrenches and you're good to go. This is beautiful. Now I gotta figure out how to set it up. I got some anchoring, I put these anchoring points in, which I really like too. And uh, I have to try it a few times. The plan initially put the refrigerator here and my batteries here, but we'll, we'll give it a few times out there. All right, I've got it all set up. Got my cargo net back there. My gear, really love how this turned out. So clean. Eleanor really likes it as well. Okay, I did my first trial run with the Goose Gear system. I love this. Got it wired in. This is connected to the refrigerator and I like it so I can see all the displays, but then I can charge this one as well. I can check on the refrigerator. Plenty of, plenty of room for Eleanor's crate and my luggage. This has been fantastic. I love it. Thanks for watching, and please comment with any questions, and we'll catch you the next time we venture outside. <laughs>